Hi, beautiful beings of light. This is Yana, and welcome back uh, to my YouTube channel. Right, still in the month of March of 2022, and uh, we were building the momentum, talking about the universal laws, which I think is extremely important, especially here in the time of awakening and shifting consciousness and bringing the divine justice here online, because all the, the craziness, the darkness surfacing, right? All these criminal activities needs to be brought to the light. To be acknowledged for what it is and brought to divine justice uh, you know about the cosmic trials happening the galactic uh, tribunals happening uh, military tribunals happening as well um, but um, you know this is the uh, guardian material this is actually the material from the ancients from from, from the elders right um, because uh, that's actually how we were designed under the law of one following the universal laws the um, uh, being aligned with God's divine will and so on, right? The angelic divine luminous beings with 12 strands of DNA with crystal, crystalline heart. And so um, that there were these uh, real, the schools of um, initiates or the, the high priestess and priestesses, uh, right? Of that original uh, form. Again, I don't talk about uh, the macerator races and... Um, the negative aliens um, as far as the teachings goes because then uh, so much distortion has been happening right uh, but as as you know here um, I um, well I follow or I teach or um, you know material that comes from higher dimensions um, the um, the light divine okay and um, the from the Christos founder races okay so and this is what I resonate with and that's uh, you know what I'm sharing with you and again only leave uh, I mean take what resonates with you and leave the rest uh, remember my uh, videos are for informational educational entertainment purposes I'm here to inspire you empower you I'm giving information the way I interpret it through my soul signature energy signature through my filters and then how you guys then interpret what I'm sharing with you becomes your world your reality your story and what you do with it is your responsibility we're very powerful co-creators with the divine we're watching our thoughts feelings and emotions our deed and actions right we're powerful emitters transmitters receivers of energies we are 99.9% .9 energy, 0.1% matter. We are sound, light, frequency, vibration. Kada, yasata, Allah, right? Um, you know, with those 12 strands of DNA, crystal, crystalline heart, plasma, light body, okay? That's our originality. That's where we are heading. The original divine blueprint, the Stargate 12, uh, Armathena from the constellation of Lyra, okay? In this 15 universal time matrix. So, here we go and this is the teachings from uh lisa rini actually she downloaded that information um you know the guardian material and she's a walking you know star seed indigo uh she's the ambassador ag advocate for the star seeds and so her material helped me tremendously um so remember uh those who experience all kinds of abuse and violence right torture um uh, whether from the, the government the military and so on we have to study understand the universal laws we have to embody that through our soul signature energy signature through our operational system so then we can um, create the new earth society in harmony peace unity Christa Sophia consciousness so and uh, yeah my videos are for my stars uh, yeah my tribe uh, soul tribe and uh, yeah the those who resonate with me right the so star sees the indigos the guardians and the empath sensitives highly advanced souls and um, like I said we experience either lots of injustices or you know it's like what's going on here with those uh, energies you know talking about the negative uh, aliens with their negative alien agendas guys here's a perfect book a great book alien races from Elena Danan right what in the world was happening or here we have the Rishi sages okay from the uh, Vega uh, constellation and so on so um, here is uh, Sirius B so we're uh, we've been uh, we have a uh, lots of help actually from benevolent ETs right the negative aliens let me see do I have some um, pictures from oh these are also the Ecturians you know so again the good ETs here helping us with healing with ascension with the evolution right uh, here um, we're finally in a state of awakening so the Akori so these are the bad guys here 
okay so they can see the they can seem like be the pleadians and helping us so that's why it's all about frequency vibration we have to raise our frequency vibration so then we can differentiate and see who is of positive nature negative nature at the same time we have to uh, transform change smooth the shadow right release the pain or the trauma so we can integrate synthesize right the light and dark and become whole and complete again it's called polarity integration we talk about it in um, those um, uh, we talk about it in the the universal laws okay so there's uh, lots of material that needs to be st studied and um, let me see I'm now just looking at all the good good ETs let me see yeah the um, oh yeah so the Dracos right especially dealing with the Dracos the Draconians okay the military the Wisa uh, system running the Death Star the Metatronic reversals from the Nephilim uh, reversal grid and so on. So with the false mark about the false light and so on. But they have extremely highly, highly advanced technologies, guys. You know, uh, the Black Sun entities with their black hole uh, technology, the psychotronic weapons and... Um, directed energy weapons and so on right all these laboratories the underground military bases or moon or you know mars and so on doing all kinds of experimentations right mutate dna mutation hybridization and then uh being uh here involved with this um you know with the gar planetary governments involved in the galactic um uh, human slave trades and uh organ harvesting you know the adrenochrome thing uh, thing going on so guys that's why i talk about the new earth jurisdiction you can find on my website yanakalai.com where we're implementing the galactic codex okay and uh, studying the natural laws so um <clears throat> and that uh, it's a very important that's kind of how i flow it's like all these things happening right all these injustices again how are we going to bring it into divine justice right bring the divine order here back online through you know forgiving being the compassionate witness educating ourselves um you know that there's so much already witnessed there's so much documents documentation you know all these um uh, classified information that all needs to be declassified right and uh so we need the et disclosure and we need to expose all the wrongdoings in the entire infrastructure for me whether it's the government especially the military right but also i talk about the family kind of the structure and the food industry i'm all about the food nutrition and I have been uh, working on my um, project for the war uh, for warriors for veterans for the military since 2009 implementing yoga you know yoga Ayurveda Ayurvedic massages right meditation and so on healing uh, for those guys um, who were extremely abused and violated uh, by the negative ones or the highly um, you know high-ranking military officers whether humans not humans right the Dracos reptilians and the Anunnaki of the negative faction the fallen ones right or the nazi infiltrated by the orion group and so on so this is where i am coming from and so yeah it's not for everybody guys um yeah so only take what resonates with you leave the rest and don't take it personally so we are uh, continuing. We had the law verification that that was a big deal, guys. Uh, you know, when we are walking on a on 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 our walking our path, right, and pretty much experiencing uh, things, you know, for our confirmation, what really works, what doesn't really work, right? Uh, you know, commitment to personal values and spiritual growth is imminent it's extremely important is essential so because what we're experiencing right we see how everything is operate and the verification of this tr of the truth is through our own experiences and uh, did i mention that actually the in the information that i'm sharing with you is guys based on my direct experiences okay so and then of course i had to study and educate myself because i didn't understand like the energies where are they coming from i talk about the uh project paperclip right and also in military the project monarch and a mocking uh, mockingbird that's msm uh that's the montag right the, the mind control right that's also what i actually focus on the military the mind control um you know the um 
Uh, talk about the negative aliens with their negative alien agenda, right? And exopolitics and uh, mystica, esoterica, you know, teachings from those higher realms of existence, the higher dimensions of the divine light. So that's what are coming from uh, also with yoga and Ayurveda background. So we had the law of... Uh, the law of verification like very important right we have to act in alignment to the natural laws that's why um, we're going over that studying that extremely important choosing the path of moderation in all pursuit of life right the yellow brick road being in your heart being your center live simply simple living high thinking so then you have time to heal yourself release the trauma drama right invoke the bad flame and so on and start finally breathing and experiencing your true divine essence and the freedom that comes from from that connection to that inner spirit to that inner christ that inner self okay because we are changing we're going uh, from that um um the by wave you know the uh the polarity that has been extremely um uh, you know negatively polarized here and the the phantom matrix right how to exit the the matrix you can find the themes on my website yanakalai.com and uh you know we're balancing ourselves going into our center so we can experience the trinity the tri waves okay so the trinity way the energetic balance extremely important we need to bring the divine order divine justice here through our energetic balance so doing the inner work releasing or transforming transforming that shadow right and seeing it for what it is being compassionate synthesizing it so then uh we we're just the witness just the observers of all that and embodying the universal laws um very important so the law of cycle and so you know like we talk about already the law of rhythm the law of cycle even mother nature right changing the seasons those who are um in that um particular hemisphere here i know the uh, there are some, um, you know, zones and continents there. They may all be only experiencing extreme uh, um, either, uh, you know, hot, hot weathers or extreme cold, cold weathers, right? But you see everything, you know, is in movement and it 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 occurs in the w uh, wheel of life as consciousness experiences itself moving throughout the timelines, facing many challenges and growth opportunities. Like I said, we're learning our lessons. So whatever we experience, we don't even know what we, we sign all kinds of contracts with those bad guys or whatever we need to experience in order to uh to improve ourselves to advance to grow okay so the law of cycles also governs the cosmic clock of the eons it is directly connected to the divine infinite calculus that connects uh, into the four royal stars the cardinal directions which instruct the constitution of humankind in the four archetypal worlds Four is the fundamental math in the blueprint of all structures and things. And four is the universal prototype of the law of structure. When I think about the four, the structure, the foundation, also think about the four direction. When we're greeting the four directions, whether, you know, you do the... Um, shamanic sacred uh ceremonies right hunapku creator of all life you're greeting the north you're greeting the south you're greeting the east you're greeting the west and so on but at the same time being in that heart in the center where you can observe it all okay and um so that's um kind of what comes into my mind the four art archetypal worlds are emanation creation formation action and it takes place in the realms of universal consciousness of creative world formative world and material world consciousness descends into matter and travels through the universal tree of life we talk about the um uh 12 uh base 12 mathematics right because the dracos and you know with their so-called kabbalah the cabal running the base 10 mathematics right they got rid of some of those um uh, spheres and you know created that phantom matrix and we are living in this blended matrix where they are siphoning energies from mother earth mother nature from humanity stealing our resources and so on okay so here we talk about the universal tree of life participating in the law of cycles in order to access knowledge and gain spiritual refinement to finally ascend and return back home into the infinite god worlds guys we're going back to god to source to what is i am that i am and it is what it is and so be it all four archetypal worlds have correspondence uh, to our personal 
light body and must be integrated and synthesized in the realm of mind, emotions, and spirit, raising its purpose through ideas and blueprints and undergoing the work in process of spiritual alchemy in order to gain the results of its manifested reality upon the earthly plane. The law of cycles principle is a mandala geometry holding the eternal spiral of creation. I talk about the Christic spiral, right? Going up, 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 and up again. Up the stairs, stairs to heaven. The entire collective consciousness moving through the ideas and patterns, processing the realities throughout the many timelines in the universal tree of life. If we learn to live in harmony with the law of cycles, we remember that all things in our experience are subject to change and the acceptance of the change in the cycles of life vastly improves the quality of our lives. I'm sorry for that, but that's a truck, a room to go. Somebody's either moving or buying furniture. <laughs> oh my goodness, trying to back up. So, so the accepting the change is extremely important. Here we go. Time to have like uh, spaceships finally, right? Or trucks that doesn't make that much noise. But like you say, you know, people, furniture. I'm, I'm sure it's extremely important for many people, right? The way they live, how they live. I'm more resonating like being a... Uh, nomad and bedouin and just having my yurt and tent and simple living wow he's backing up again oh my goodness <laughs> yeah well i don't i sorry i don't have a computer guys i cannot do editing like remove this part mm, it's all good accepting it right <laughs> we surrender to the constant cycles of ebb and flow contraction expansion learning our lessons knowing that when we trust in the natural laws we experience greater alignment with the peace and harmony that exists in the universe oh he finally made it oh he needs to back up Wow, this is a huge big truck. I, I do admire those guys who drive those huge big trucks, long ones, how they make these turns or how they are backing up. I'm sure they need some professional training with that. <laughs> and this car is leaving. Thanks be to God. Is it? Peace on earth. Oh, that was a long one. That was a huge, yeah, long truck. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Peace be with you. Peace on earth. So the law of cycles is magnified by the importance of it, of its position in our universal time matrix in the relation to the four world stars. When astrological processions are completed approximately every 26,000 years. So this law manifests as cycles within cycles and at the end of every planetary cycle or eon. So when the planet becomes aligned to the galactic core and we are aligned with the galactic core. So it has been um, uh, it has been now aligned actually. So we have the connection with Source because we were here kind of imprisoned in the Phantom Matrix. So um, you know the Stargates and everything. You know there have been uh, so much um, actually war over that, right? That's why it's pretty much the wars, whether in the Middle East and so on, it's all about the Stargates, guys. Remember DNA, our DNA hold the Stargates. And we had the keys. That's why, you know, the native ones, right? They are doing all these abductions and uh, splicing our DNAs. And even in military, the, the crisp technology and so on. They need our DNA so can, they can access those codes, you know, Stargates and wreak havoc, right? And they can, they think they, they can control the entire matrix or the solar system, the galaxy, the Milky Way through stealing, through 
healing through corruption you know what i'm saying so that's why we're bringing the galactic codex the divine intervention right studying the natural laws the universal laws is extremely important because these guys they pretty much need to go they need to face their own shadow right like humans humanity right we all have to look at the skeletons of our closet if we want to improve our lives if we want to finally release ourselves from the negativity and you know just looping constantly and all these addictions right and um you know cussing and uh you know just being negative and constantly experiencing or having negative experiences with people situations and so on we need to finally acknowledge work with it cleaning home houses or garages going through our closets or kitchen or spices you know our dishes what we, we don't need it we share it we give it away right or we sell it here people have garage sales <laughs> whatever that is so um so that's kind of uh, so when the planet becomes aligned to the galactic core and the stargate portals open into no time we're eligible eligible to proceed in our evolutionary journey in the ascension timeline and so that's why the negative ones you know with their um f the the, f the fleet the elites of the negative fleet the dark fleets right they were obstructing all that and creating more wars and more wars and wars and wars over you know those stargates and those portals uh and so on so um That's why, uh, you know, uh, the, the, we're exposing them, right? You know, the, the ex, uh, exposure of the corruption is imminent, ex, extremely important. So, um, you know, the, we all need to, like, see it for what it is, you know, see the consequences of our actions here in our personal lives, right? But also, you know, those in those um, uh, higher levels of position, the abuse of power and so on, but also in those astral planes, in those high densities, you know, it is what it is because everything is accounted for, right? We were talking about the, the law of cause and effect. And we are dealing with the with the aliens, negative aliens, and we ourselves are ETs, especially you know the star seeds here, we are being the column of light shining bright. So we are bringing everything into divine justice <clears throat> order uh, in the interplanetary, you know, galactic level. So this is a multidimensional operation. The law of vibration, this natural law describes the principle that everything is in constant motion and that nothing rests and everything vibrates at a rate that is either faster or slower and also rotates, which uh, forms a rate of frequency vibration beyond the material realm and into a realm in which everything is conscious energy describes the law of vibration. Everything in our universe consists of layers of vibrational frequencies stacked throughout the dimensional scales. Energy is consciousness and it either contracts or expands to maintain or increase its rate of frequency. The process of how fast or slow that energy contracts back towards its center point of source field is the vibration rate. The combination of both the pattern of vibration, contraction, oscillation, expansion, speed is what determines the frequency rate of all energy and things. So if the rate of that frequency vibration falls below or rises above a certain intensity, it becomes immeasurable or invincible <clears throat> to the basic human senses. The first thing that is important to understand is that all that exists, whether seen or unseen, broken down into its simplest or most basic form, consists of a rate of frequency vibration. At the highest levels and at the lower levels exist infinite manifestations, all occurring varying octaves of vibration each with their own energetic signature and quality of manifestation. It is important to realize that every substance, body and being vibrates to its own frequency and that vibration will be amplified tremendously when stimulated by a similar compatible resonant frequency, resonating to the positive forces of life forces, of forces of goodness, forces of gratitude, forces of love will amplify these resonances and strengthen our body dramatically, right? Talking about walking those energies of love and faith and trust and grace and gratitude and compassion and just praising the Lord or, you know, just uh, loving yourself uh, immensely. Okay, so this would you then amplify, resonating through ego to the negative forces of fear, rage, frustration, and resistance to what is, will also amplify those disturbance, disturbances in our body greatly. We can apply the law, the first law of mentalism, to shift our thoughts in order to change our mental state into a positive state with a higher vibration. 
that's to me that's my dad jacobi the law of manifestation manifestation protocol right going to your heart going to your center that there's a brain there that is thousand times more power powerful than the brain in our head give gratitude right breathe inhale exhale exhale whatever bothers you the negativity the stress and trauma the drama right and through inhalation you can start feeling the positivity right start creating something beautiful so that's kind of in order to change our mental state into positive state with a higher vibration directing focus upon loving positive states and higher frequencies with an effort or apply of applying personal will in order to shift vibration it's called mental transmutation so actually here lisa Rene is talking about mental transmutation i think marina jacobi you know she has her um um that's the manifestation protocol quantum manifestation protocol right but i can see that pretty much they are talking about the same thing this principle explains that the distinction between the manifestations of the planes of matter energy mind and spirit are the result of only different vibrations on a frequency scale the higher the energy of a person is on the scale the higher the rate of vibration they will embody and interact with or you know, if you feel alone by yourself, you're vibrating extremely high. You got to have God's sovereign free boundaries, right? Having the violet flame around you also. It's just spreading the love, love frequency vibration. Remember, um, you know, um, we can also be easily attacked, but it's to me getting less and less. But we're also responsible. The higher you go, the more responsible you are. So that's why being the, uh, in your heart, in that center, the moderation, right? The yellow brick road and being honest is extremely imp um, important because, the, you know, the mind control, the ego, right? Can e e immediately uh, can bring us down, okay? The entitlement, the inferiority, the superiority, I'm better than you and I look better than you. I have more money on a bank account than you. I drive better car and I have better home and house and you know look what I've done I have all these degrees and licenses you know I'm like okay good cool 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 just going into your heart into your simplicity just being nice loving kindness right speaking your truth with loving kindness that's gal that's guys how we'll make the difference right it's not um, you know all these um, accumulation of the wealth that would be nice if people with all these uh, material wealth and you know v villas and mansions and yachts and can start sharing it with others and especially those that need the most right whether you know people that have no home place to stay or children right abused and violated and so on time to share that's why creating uh, communities in unity right to me with ETs you know it's a uh, it's been even like struggle it's a process here with people around very nice people helping and so on but i can see like you know the family we say family is thicker than blood right and i'm pretty much well on my own i have a different structure in my mind especially of a family being more like a nomad or being a bedouin right you know there's a hierarchy everywhere but pretty much you know you're serving the one you're serving the lord right living simply by the same time you provide a uh, protection and a condition for others who come um, to you with peace okay so the frequency vibration is uh, extremely important and now it's more and more visible right it's recognizable through your resonance through your heart structure you can immediately sense you know somebody's coming or people are you know the sugar-coated stuff but you know you kind of see feel that they may be lying this is not really true what they are saying but you have to uh be um you know kind of respectful respectful to it right you just kind of watch it observe it don't judge it criticize it and just kind of maneuver yourself either out of that situation or that pe people you know they need slowly kind of they need to be kind of navigating and go to their own direction to, to their timeline to their resonance okay so and that's i think that's what's happening and in transpiring with the bifurcation of consciousness splitting consciousness right you now see or know know who you you know who's been working on himself or herself right who are tending to be nice and be spiritual and get out of that matrix and um 
but you can see also people stuck in their uh, ego mind right the ego mind and in the personality matrix kind of the mind control and just constantly looping and uh, cussing and cursing not being compassionate to others well you know people going through all kinds of difficulties and challenges so again at work i just kind of have to be in my balance and transform transmute those energies right i'm dealing with all kinds of uh people with their uh, interesting personalities and dynamics going on so it it is a you know it's a work constant work it's uh you know it's a process but it's a path to self-mastery self-mastery self-realization by transforming transmuting the negative ego right implementing the galactic codex knowing the natural law so we can bring the divine justice the uh, divine order Order here back online to this plane of existence we're ascending the earth is ascending right uh, mother nature is uh, ascending with us we're ascending also on that physical plane that's why join us for the unity meditation Sandra Walter right activation of our DNA extremely important the 12 d shield building technique uh, from Lisa Rini um, very important that's what helped me with the star of David you know the platinum light that's where you surround yourself having that protection each and every day and uh, you amplify that protection because you know you're raising your frequency vibration you're raising your light quotient right and it's easy you know to go back into your heart into your center if there's some distraction disturbances attacks you know negative entities or kind of people uh, that they're extremely negatively polarized right so it's a constant um, kind of focus you know it's a it's a constant work it is the work that I say like hard work that's what it means for me uh, and just externally doing whatever I need to just to pay my bills so I can have a, a roof over my head right pay my phone bill and still somebody needs to help me with taxes and uh, you know I don't, don't have really much money to file anyway and uh you know so then i can uh, create those videos and share that information with you guys and you know praying for the uh, quantum financial system right the starlink you know the new technology the free energy technology tesla uh towers um and so on so you know that's kind of how uh we're going to make the change the transition to the next octave harmony universe number two right soul connection consciousness expansion i don't know guys whether i showed you or not right or you know working on our chakras our auras our energy field right these are the particle chakras remember we have also anti-particle chakras ascension glossary uh ascension uh ascension glossary chakras from lisa Rene. you know the 15 uh 15 chakras she talks about that for that 15 uh dimensional uh 15 universal time matrix and so on so very important right exiting the uh, the 3d matrix here the um, uh, personality matrix um, and so not being stuck in those first three chakras right the root chakra you know the root the first the second and the third and so on but start being more and more in your heart speaking your truth and decalcifying your pineal gland so you can open yourself to those higher dimensions be uh, telepathic be psychic and you know invocation of that violet flame guys that's how you can uh, release the trauma drama the draws the miasma from your energy field from your chakra column right uh from your um emotional body your um mind body from your physical body from your spiritual body i talk about the four body system okay so um that's where we are with the law of cycle right that was the law of cycle and um the last one is the law of gender let me see no we talk about the law of cycle law of vibration i'm sorry the law of vibration the law of mentalism so the law of vibration is magnified by the importance of its position in the universal time matrix and it's ultimately governance by the returning of solo logos the solo logos that's uh, the manifest as the guardian of the southern direction in the pillar architecture that forms one side of the four cardinal directions north south east and west that are measured in the cosmic time cycle anyway in the higher dimensions at the highest rate of vibration the rated 
uh, the rate and intensity are so fast that it may appear that entity is effortlessly gliding yet motionless like a spinning wheel in place that appears perfectly stable and at the lowest levels of vibration objects move so slowly they appear to be t totally stationary immovable between these two states of being exist infinite manifestations all occurring varying octaves of vibration each with their own unique signature so yes yeah, so a lot of cycles law of vibration and now is the law of gender this is extremely complex material so all things exist within the gender principle of creation everything has its masculine feminine principle which produce metaphysical forces that play a role in creation and regeneration nothing can manifest into being without this law these forces arranged within the spiritual blueprints that translate into the gender principle that manifests itself upon all dimensional planes. There is not one aspect of life, consciousness and creation where the masculine feminine principles remain non-existent or absent. It is an absolute truth that the law of gender is manifested within everything. It is impossible for creation to take place without this universal law in action at some level. Even when the gender principle has been replicated, reversed, manipulated through artificial technology. Whether organic or inorganic, the law of gender will always apply to what has been manifested. Gender principle is intrinsic to every form in existence, including the human body, which is designed in a gender principle biology. Although the law of gender and the law of polarity are intimately intertwined, it is important to realize that either gender contains both polarity simultaneously, with the circuitry flowing in magnetic north to magnetic south, which moves in different or opposing directions in a male or female body. The male and female body on the physical plane mirror each other. Through vibrational correspondence occurs during interaction between the positive and negative polarity that runs through what could be referred to as magnetic north to magnetic south pole positions. Every male has feminine energy and every female has masculine energy and during intercourse we perceive the interplay of these energies. Once we unify the horizontal and vertical planes of polarity within the gender principle of our light body, we develop the neutral point in all energy centers, merging gender principles within manifests, which manifest as the eternal life body or diamond sun, Chris Cristala orb body. As we bring energetic synthesis between the gender principles, we also synthesize the forces of polarity present into neutral or zero point and this is the evolutionary journey of the ascension process that merges our physical self with our spiritual bodies and ultimately God's source. When we live in harmony with the law of gender, it catalyzes profound spiritual healing that neutralizes kar karmic burdens and miasmatic patterns, allowing us to unify, to be unified and live in increasing harmony with the forces of the external world. Esoterically, the, to truly comprehend the universal law of gender is to perceive it far beyond the physical classifications and biological limitations, to know that the highest nature of the gender principle is achieving unity consciousness. Unity consciousness is intrinsically integrated with the cosmic sovereign law of God or the law of one. And unity consciousness is the first practice of the law. This informs us that in order to be in harmony with the law of one and experience unity consciousness, we must seek to understand the principles of gender in our personal consciousness and intend to unify all of his aspects and the irritable forces that operate in our gender-based identity. The Trinity source of the Godhead is a unity that expresses itself in different aspects, but it creates life in the same way a human being creates life through hierogamic union of the gender principles. The core light which emanates from the zero point is the solo light that creates all things. This is what gives life, gives lives and is known in different names. However, we choose to refer to it as the unity logos of the cosmic Christo, Sophia, eternal life from the zero point balance, divine neutrality. So this is the unity logos, the cosmic logos. This is the beloved mighty I am presence. So the solar, oh, that was the solo logos. I still have to look at the solo logos. The unity logos and then the planetary logos. I know the planetary logos exists actually the seven chakra. That's the violet flame here, the crown chakra. 
okay so when we reach that point that frequency vibration uh, we are connecting to that uh, planetary logos and through that we connect to that a chakra the higher heart and that's the galactic core now the stargaze has been um corrected right there are the guardians now the guarding um you know all these stargates and the new matrix right it's been also um actually uh whether uh whether created or it's been now uh corrected you know with all these new architecture new christed codes and so on so then we have the direct connection to god to source because we were in this phantom matrix this blended reality in this called quarantine zone right with all these stargates uh, they had they had, they had to be blocked or they were blocked by those negative ones with their artificial technology right keeping us down down here in this reincarnational cycle okay in this negative loop okay and so they could control the entire solar system this um galaxy this milky way they wanted to even uh be in charge of the entire universal time matrix right so the guardians are here the good ets right um our host uh family the andromeda okay uh the the the, the aurora okay so they're uh, all here the benevolent ets helping us like i said the pleiadians right the icturians the syrians the andromedans the antares you know they're helping us uh, with their extremely uh high advanced technology you know help us with healing and you know healing this planet and cleansing our soil and atmosphere and water from all this pollution and the gmo and chemtrails guys and uh, you know instead of paying bills or electricity and uh, so on like um having finally free energy here the crystal technology and living in beautiful crystal palaces or crystal domes just like people in the inner earth in telos okay uh, so we finally right we all blend together so uh you know whether the, the soul of flesh or the event you know guys it's all about reaching the momentum raising the frequency vibration first of ourselves and you know of this planet the surface of the planet you know the people in uh in the inner earth right the gardens you know the telosians they're waiting for us for awakening you know for the healing uh for the transformation you know they're helping us with the liberation so we can finally ascend and go to the next harmonic universe number two the next octave right uh soul connection consciousness expansion living in peace unity harmony Christo Sophia consciousness uh, beloveds we made it um those were the 13 principles of universal laws remember you can also download the um, that material on my website yanakalai.com if not you can go ascension glossaries or lisa rini energetic synthesis everything is there it's extremely powerful material and i can read it over and over and over and there'll be more downloads more expansion of consciousness and so on to me this is timeless timeless material and extremely uh, essential and um extremely important to really be familiar with it to understand that right so then we can embody um the not only you know the law the frequency um of ascension but embody the the frequency of unconditional love of holy mother divine mother okay and uh we live in uh, you know like i say the peace unity in those uh, pure energies you know pure consciousness that's our true divine original nature so enjoy um many blessings and namaste i'll talk to you next time bye bye